Calculus. It's one of the most important subjects in engineering. But what is actually calculus? We call calculus the mathematics of change. It is a study on changing quantities. Well, what are examples of quantities that change? If you are driving a car, your position is always changing. And when you're driving, your speed may be always changing too. If you are filling up a glass using a steady flow of water, well, the amount of water in a glass is the quantity that changes. And if you are heating something up, one quantity that changes is temperature. So, if I'm in a car, not moving with zero speed, and when I start moving forward, I'm changing a lot of things. My position has changed. Also, I have increased my speed because I was at zero kilometer per hour at first and now I'm speeding up. And if I press the brake, my car starts to slow down and eventually stops. If I can draw my speed on a graph, it might look something like this. Now with this information, can I know my speed at this point of time, or my distance, or my acceleration, or if you have more information, you can ask how much fuel I'm using. When a quantity is constant, not changing, it is very easy. Like if you have a car that is not speeding up or slowing down, the speed is the same at all time. And if you want to find the distance, just find the area of the rectangle under the line. Multiply speed and time, and you'll get the amount of distance you have traveled. But unfortunately, the world is not so ideal. Like if you are speeding up and down like this, obviously the speed is changing at all times. The acceleration is up and then down. And how do you find the distance that you have traveled, for example? Before we had a straight line, we can make a rectangle, but now this is not so simple. One way calculus will solve this is by looking at this curve as having many rectangles with different changing heights, and then we will add those rectangles to find the area under the curve. When you know the value of a changing quantity at all times, like the speed for example, and determine how much the quantity is changing with time, then you are differentiating or finding a derivative. When you know how much the quantity is changing with respect to time, and determine what the total change is over a period, then you are integrating. We will look at these two concepts, derivative and integral, when we get to the technical sides of calculus later. One of the main reasons we have to study engineering and physics is because you want to know what's going to happen before it happens, especially when it comes to motion. And in order to understand motion, we need to understand how things change and use that to make predictions. And calculus gives us tools to make these predictions and solve engineering problems.